You have been fashioned to serve Holy Inanna, the Great Lady of Heaven. Sumer is best described as a digital board game. The action happens in real time with players competing with one another for resources. I first played Sumer at Bit Summit last year and I really enjoyed it. I asked the developers, Studio Wumpus, if the game was coming to the Switch as at the time it was only going to be available on Steam and Xbox One. A year later, Sumer has finally arrived on the Switch. So get your goats to sacrifice as it's time to review Sumer. Quick note, Studio Wumpus was kind enough to provide a review code. This is Push Dustin from Source Gaming bringing you this feature. Sumer doesn't have a huge focus on narrative, as expected by its gameplay. Taking place in Sumeria, the game is about trying to win favor with the goddess, Inanna, in order to become the next ruler. Through these themes, a lot of the gameplay elements come together, harvesting and sacrificing materials and using workers effectively. It was a great touch to add actual Sumerian into the game for Inanna's voice acting, as it really helps build the world. I also thought that the theme was quite novel and it really helps the game stand out from others. As I mentioned before, Sumer is essentially a board game on your television. Players will need to be quick to harvest and sacrifice resources in order to secure more favor. I think it's quite fun planning the route that your character will take to be the most optimal just before waking up. Of course your route will need to be adjusted as other players will have their own plans. The game is divided into years. Between the years, players can use their extra goats to bid on new rooms, monuments, or bonuses. The bidding can be quite competitive and is a blast in local play. In order to complete a year, players will need to offer a certain number of resources to the goddess. Putting in the most or the last resource will net players with extra favors. The requirements for the offers will be a mixture of grain, beer, and pottery, and are random per game. Players can use their extra resources in order to get extra favor from the goddess. My main gripe with Sumer is just how lacking it feels in parts. There is no online multiplayer option. That means that players will need to compete with their friends locally. Playing against the AI is alright, but after a couple of games it feels very redundant. The issue could have been alleviated with additional modes, maps, options, or even a light story mode. I talked with the developers over at Studio Wumpus and they said they would love to add online multiplayer for the Switch version, but as of right now it's not guaranteed as it depends on a lot of external factors. The game displays everything that the player will need to know and it, the user interface is pretty clean. The sound design is great, especially with the Sumerian. The icons are pretty straightforward and players have 6 options for their character but they have no stat difference. The game plays great and there wasn't any noticeable frame drops. Basically everything that you need will be on the screen and everything that you don't need won't be. A clean user interface is essential for this type of game and Sumer delivers it. The rules can be a little bit overwhelming at first as there's a lot to keep track of. Before playing the game I would highly recommend going through the tutorials. I tried introducing it to a couple of friends and they had a hard time getting the flow of the game as I had to explain all of the rules all at once. A light mode with no bidding would probably make the game easier for new players. I think Sumer is a type of game that you will either really enjoy or you won't. It's not going to be a game that will appeal to everyone. With limited options and a lack of online mode, I'm not sure how appealing Sumer will be for casual fans. For those of you who enjoy tabletop gaming, I would highly recommend Sumer as it does feel like a digital board game. I give Sumer a 3 out of 5. Thank you guys so much for listening to this review. This has been Push Dustin from Source Gaming. Again, I'd like to thank the developers over at Studio Wumpus for providing a review code. Let us know what you think about Sumer in the comments below. As always, remember to return to the source for more reviews, previews, and information that you can't get from anywhere else.